Welcome to Crime Chronicles, where we dive deep into the dark and gripping world of real-life crime. Each week we explore shocking details, unsolved mysteries, and the criminal minds behind some of the most infamous cases. Stay tuned as we uncover the truth together. In today's episode, we'll take a look at the tragic and untimely death of former One Direction star, Liam Payne. His life was one filled with fame, music, and personal struggles that ultimately ended in heartbreak. Let's dive into the story of his rise to stardom and the events that led to his tragic end. Liam James Payne was born on August 29, 1993 in Wolverhampton, England. And from the very beginning, life was no easy journey for him. Born three weeks early, he struggled with health issues, including a damaged kidney that required him to endure 32 injections every day as a young child. But despite these early challenges, Liam found his escape in music and sports. By the time he was 12, he was already performing in local theater productions and showed promise as a talented cross-country runner. In 2008, a 14-year-old Liam took his first big step toward fame when he auditioned for The X Factor. How wonderful life is while you're in the world. He impressed the judges, but didn't make it past the early stages of the competition. However, Simon Cowell saw potential in the young boy and encouraged him to come back. Okie dokie. Thanks, Liam. Thanks, guys. Cheers. See you later. I like it. Yeah. Two years later, Liam did just that. And now you say you're lonely. This time, fate had something bigger in store. Alongside four other hopeful contestants, Harry Styles, Niall Horan, Louis Tomlinson, and Zayn Malik, Liam was placed in a group that would become One Direction. The band took the world by storm, capturing the hearts of millions, from hit songs like What Makes You Beautiful, That's what makes you beautiful. to sold-out world tours, One Direction became a global sensation, seemingly overnight. Liam played a vital role, not only as a vocalist, but also as a songwriter. The dimples in your back at the bottom of your spine, but I love them endlessly. Hear that when I die, these words will be written on my stone. The band's bond, both on and off stage, was palpable. Sorry if I say I need you. But I don't care, I'm not scared of love. And it made their success all the more special for their loyal fans. But behind the smiles, Liam's personal struggles were quietly simmering. After One Direction went on hiatus in 2015, Liam embarked on a solo career. His debut single, Strip That Down, released in 2017, was an instant hit, topping charts and going platinum. Over the next few years, he continued to make music, collaborate with other artists, and explore his unique sound. But amid the success, Liam's personal life was a roller coaster of highs and lows. He was open about his struggles with alcoholism and mental health, sharing his battles publicly with fans. Despite it all, he remained devoted 
to his young son, Bear, born in 2017 to singer Cheryl Cole. Bear was Liam's pride and joy, a beacon of light in his life. In 2023, Liam took steps to regain control of his life. After completing a stint in rehab, he proudly shared that he had been sober for several months and was ready to refocus on his music. However, his health continued to cause problems. In August 2023, a severe kidney infection forced him to cancel a planned solo tour in Latin America. Hey guys, uh, this really is the last news I wanted to be telling you, but uh, basically I've been a little bit unwell recently and uh, I ended up in hospital with a bad kidney infection. Hopefully we'll put on an even bigger, better show. Thank you, I'm sorry. Though he recovered enough to return to his career, his health remained a concern in the months leading up to what would be his final days. On October 16th, 2024, tragedy struck. Liam had traveled to Buenos Aires, Argentina to attend a concert for his former bandmate, Niall Horan. In Argentina, this is the breakfast table. I'm just eating an orange. Just enjoying coffee and breakfast, even though it's like 1 p.m. It should have been a joyful reunion, but instead, it ended in heartbreak. Liam fell from the third floor of a hotel in the Palermo neighborhood, and by the time emergency services arrived, it was too late. The world was stunned by the news of his death at just 31 years old. Local reports soon emerged, revealing that the Argentine police had received an emergency call about an aggressive man who could be under the effects of drugs or alcohol. While the identity of this individual wasn't immediately confirmed, it became clear that it was Liam. The exact circumstances of his fall remain uncertain. Was it an accident? Or was Liam facing personal demons too powerful to overcome? The director of Buenos Aires' public emergency medical service, Alberto Crescenti, confirmed Liam's death on national television, but provided little detail about whether the fall was intentional or accidental. An autopsy was ordered, but as of now, the results have not been released. The uncertainty surrounding his final moments has left fans and loved ones grappling with the tragic loss. Liam Payne's life was one of incredible success, but also one of deep personal struggle. From his meteoric rise to fame with One Direction, to his solo achievements, he left a lasting impact on the music world. She was dignified. She showed me what it was to cry. His death has reignited important conversations about mental health, substance abuse, and the pressures of life in the public eye. As the investigation into his death continues, Fans are left mourning the loss of a talented musician, hoping for more answers about what happened in those final heartbreaking moments. In the end, Liam's legacy will live on through the music he created and the memories he left behind. His story serves as a reminder of the highs and lows that come with fame and the importance of addressing personal struggles before they become too overwhelming.